brings us to tonight's edition of Left Hook, Right Jab. And joining me now, former Portland City Commissioner Steve Novick and KXL's Lars Larson. And here's your question tonight, gentlemen. Do you believe the theory that the FBI conspired against Donald Trump or is this just a political maneuver? And before we get to the debate, we're going to bring the audience into this. We're launching a new feature where you get to vote. You get to voice your opinion on who you think is winning the argument, either Steve or Lars. And you can do that. It's real easy. Get your phone. Go to the KGW News app, and there's a little tile called Vote Now right next to the weather tile. And you vote there. We'll post the results real time at the bottom of your screen. You can vote as many times as you want, and we'll post the results later on. So we'll give you the final results results in the next segment. So keep voting. You can also go to KGW.com slash vote. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, Steve, you're up first. There's a long bipartisan tradition of respect for the independence of law enforcement. But Donald Trump thinks law enforcement officials should be his personal servants. He demanded that James Comey pledge his personal loyalty to Donald Trump. He asked Andrew McCabe who he voted for, which is totally inappropriate. And now Trump and the Republicans in Congress are saying that since the FBI dared to investigate Trump's campaign, they must be part of a vast Democratic conspiracy. This is the way third world dictatorships behave. Steve, I got to tell you something. You surprised me that you're not in favor of transparency. This memo should come out. And let me tell you why. I talked to a member of Congress 10 days ago, Matt Gates from Florida. He's read the memo. He says it is one, explosive, two, worse than Watergate, and three, likely to send people to jail. Why? Because I believe that the FBI used a thing called the Steele dossier to justify wiretapping of the Trump campaign. If we truly have the FBI, one of the intelligence agencies of the United States, being used during a political campaign to try to sway the outcome, that's just wrong and the public should know about it. How powerful is this memo? Well, Christopher Wray, the head of the agency, the FBI, read it last weekend, walked into work Monday morning and fired his number two, Andrew McCabe. Why? I think because of the things he read in that memo. That memo should go to the public. And Donald Trump says it's likely to go to the public tomorrow, Steve. Why not? So the investigation that the memo attacks was approved by Rod Rosenstein, Trump's deputy attorney general. He approved an extension of the investigation. Rod Rosenstein was appointed by George Bush as a U.S. attorney. He's career law enforcement. So what you're saying is that Donald Trump's own deputy attorney general is part of a Democratic conspiracy against him. And by the way, the FBI says that the investigation was based on a lot of evidence, not just the Steele dossier, um, and the, the memo refuses to acknowledge that. Well, let's see what that evidence is, Steve, because if they say it's based on a whole bunch of other things and the Steele memo is a small part of it, we'll see that in the FISA memo tomorrow. I suspect it isn't. I suspect the FBI went to the judge, to the FISA judge, and said, we need a war warrant to wiretap people. Here's some of the evidence, a now discredited report called the Steele dossier that, by the way, folks, who paid for it? The DNC and Hillary Clinton's campaign paid $12 million through a Seattle law firm to make up that false piece of garbage to justify the wiretaps. The public should know what the FBI has been doing, Steve. So we know there's a lot of independent evidence of collusion. Donald Trump's own son met with a Russian lawyer with ties to the Kremlin to try to get dirt on Hillary Clinton, and then Donald Trump himself made up a lie about the purpose of the meeting. This is just an attack on the independence of the FBI. We know that the memo cherry picks individual facts and ignores others that don't fit the conspiracy theory. And Lars, I used to work for the Justice Department, so I take the independence of the Justice Department seriously. And I enforced environmental laws under a Republican administration that didn't care much about the environment, but they didn't interfere with us because they respected the rule of law. Transparency. Oh, okay. I get that, my one oh, second. Oh, you had one second. All right. <laughs> this was really exciting. We've had more than 400 people vote. It's been really close. 54% for Steve and 47% for Lars. It's been a nail biter, but we're not done. <laughs> we're going to keep the voting open for a few more minutes. We'll give you the final results at the end Come of on. the next Come segment on. so you can keep voting. Keep voting. We'll see you next week for Left Hook, Right Jab. Thanks, nice. Laurel. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Tracy and Joe.